Hi everyone, my name is David Morin. I'm with Dimatize Nutrition. We use a, a modified paleo diet. Paleo diet consists of mostly vegetables, fruits, and proteins, animal proteins like beef, eggs, chicken, and fish. I also utilize a, a carb cycle strategy on the seventh day when I rest and I'm not working out. I load up with all the low glycemic carbs like sweet potatoes, brown rice, and oatmeal. My training regimen consists of uh, six days a week. I do early morning cardio, which is a, basically just walking to the gym. It takes me 20 minutes from where I live in Miami to walk two miles to get to where I work out. And then I perform my weight training regime, which is just one muscle group per day. Uh, for example, Monday, I would wake up, I would walk the two miles between 7 and 8 o'clock a.m., and then I would load up with some expand dimatized pre-workout, and I'd also hit some branched chain amino acids, sipping on those while I train that individual muscle while I'm in the gym. Then afterwards, I'd have some fast-acting carbs and some ISO 100 protein that I load up for recovery with some glutamine. Then I'll take a walk home. It takes me about 20 minutes again to walk back home from the gym, and I get all the sun that I need and vitamin D. And as I'm walking, I do a lot of breathing exercises to alleviate all the lactic acid and all the fatigue toxins that have built up to increase my recovery from a next workout. When it comes to maintaining uh, a certain look throughout the year, especially if you're trying to maintain a lean look and all the muscle mass that you've worked so hard to build, you have to rely on supplementation. I utilize a full spectrum of supplements from Dimatized Nutrition, including whey protein isolate, a complex whey um, isolate with a concentrate, a casein. I also use a waxy maize starch, which is a fast glycemic load carbohydrate for post-workout recovery. I use powdered branched chain amino acids. I use AMPM Expand, which is a time-released L-arginine pump pill. It actually pushes nutrients throughout my body, increases the nutrient uptake into my muscles. Um, I make sure I also use ZMA before I sleep at night. And other than that, um, I completely utilize uh, Dimatize in their complete spectrum uh, periodically. I cycle on and cycle off creatine. also utilize uh, glutamine essentially after my workouts for recovery. People ask all the time, how do I maintain a, a, a hardcore ripped midsection or a chiseled look throughout the year? And my philosophy has been from the start, uh, find out what makes you happy and you stick to that to the best of your abilities. Throughout my life, just like everyone, you encounter hardships. And when you meet those hardships and those challenges head on, and you learn that these things are in your life, like for me, it's weight training. It's been skateboarding in the past. These have been physical outlets so that whenever I encounter stress on a mental level, I resort to weight training and it alleviates and exhausts my body to the point where my mind can rest and therefore I can face the mental challenges with a more relaxed and more focused decision making ability. So I've been through turmoil in my personal life with the ups and downs of the financial situation and the recession and divorce and child support and child custody battles and losing everything and getting everything back. And what I've realized fundamentally is that life is about facing the weights that you encounter and having the courage to pick those weights up because after you've picked those weights up, after you've pushed yourself past that workout, after you've exhausted yourself to the point where there's nothing left, you actually have an empty space to where clarity can come into your life and you can actually have peace of mind because you've allowed yourself that ability and that opportunity to leave everything behind, leave it in the gym. When you walk out, you're brand new. So that's something I would encourage anybody to do, whether it's weight training, whether it's CrossFit, whether it's hiking or mountain biking or anything physical that gets you involved in experiencing the endorphins and the things that, the feelings that liberate you in your life and set you free from the regiment of working all the time in a cubicle without any inspiration. You have to go out and you have to get as much life as you can and share it. And for me, it's all about being in the gym. It's all about facing my fears, pushing myself past the points where I thought I could never go past, 
I'm 37 years old. I'm gonna keep on going. Nothing's gonna stop me. I'm gonna keep learning. I'm gonna get better and stronger. If I can't go heavier, I'll do more reps. If I can't do more reps, I'll try to go heavier and use statics or negatives or drop sets or supersets. And I'll do whatever it takes. And I think that's overwhelming the philosophy everyone needs to utilize if you want to be successful, if you want to maintain a look that you consider ideal for yourself. You have to implement strategies. You have to utilize some type of mental and emotional connection using everything that you've gone through in your life and capture that and use that as kind of like your protein, if you will, your most anabolic resource. Uh, the thing that you tap into when nothing else around you makes sense, the one thing that's grinding you down is the one opportunity. If you capture it and you pull it and you push it and you carry it with you, it will build you stronger. So that's been my experience in my life, so I hope you guys can enjoy and benefit from my story. To define a hero in my terms, I would say it's any individual that you encounter that inspires you to live your life with more passion and to become a better person. I've been blessed and fortunate enough to experience that with a few people in my life. First it was my father, it was always in my life. My mother and father are still together after 52 years and that's hero material for me. Um, number two was my martial arts instructor. His name is Rob Williams. He taught me some unorthodox principles that allowed me to think outside the box and be able to shape my own destiny and utilize discipline as the number one tool you can utilize to achieve any greatness you desire because when the discipline upon yourself exceeds the expectations of your environment, you're guaranteed to be successful in whatever you choose. That was a huge influence on me, and I learned how to implement that philosophy in my day-to-day -day life and being able to transcend issues and problems from my childhood. And number three, I met uh, Greg Plitt in 2003. We did a photo shoot for Men's Health Magazine. He made a huge impression on me, obviously. He's the number one fitness model in the world. And uh, recently, he took me under his wing, and he shared some insights with me that allowed me to reevaluate my life, take what I had currently going on, streamline it so it's more efficient. And now here I am living my dreams and doing what I feel I do best. Um, another hero would be the mother of my children. I have twin girls and even though our relationship, we're no longer married, uh, she's a very close friend to me and she's an inspiration and a hero to me because uh, I look in my daughter's eyes and I see her and there's an unspoken strength and, and energy from being a father that makes my daughters, uh, I want them to be proud of me as a man when they look up to their father and, and they can see that whatever it is, I've always been told, whatever you want in life you can do it if you try hard enough, well I want to live up to that and I'm going to show them that and to the best of my abilities that's the gift that I'll give them so that they'll not, never have to worry about whether or not they can make it, they will make it. And I'll make sure I give them the tools to do so.